Oh, too bad your mom and dad were not here. Yeah, well, they really missed out today, trust me. <laughs> you know, the way you sound, it's so sweet and soothing. You really do have a star quality. Yeah. There's something about you. I wouldn't mind listening to your voice all day long. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I love it. It was beautiful what you just did. I wish sometimes you would look up a little more because I want to see you. I mean, you're gorgeous, and your voice is as gorgeous as you are. Thank you. And with what everybody else said, I really like the fact that you've taken one of the w most well-known pop songs of all time and literally made it your version. I'm going to remember this audition, and I'm really, really, really happy that you've auditioned on this show. We're going to vote. Howie, let's start with you. Yes! Heidi. Uh, yes! Sophia. Yes. You now have four yeses. Congratulations. <laughs> here, hand me the phone. Look, I'm going to put it right at my mic. Here. No, we want to see you. Hi. No, don't call back. Hi. <laughs> David, this is Howie. Your daughter just sang. She blew the roof off the place here. Thank you so much. Why are you not here? <laughs> she told you not to come. <laughs> Debbie, you didn't tell us that. My God. Welcome. Thank you. Now, husband and wife. Yes. yes. Okay, and just tell me your names, please. Uh, my name is Marcelito Pomoy. Marcelito? Yeah. And you are? And I am Joanne Pomoy. And where are you both from? We are both from the Philippines. Oh. <laughs> now, you're not the act, are you? I'm not. Okay. So, the reason why I'm here is to support him all throughout. Okay, good. My husband, you know, he has a very hard life in the Philippines. But then he won the Philippines Got Talent. Did he win? Yes. What year? 2011. Huh? I'm going to ask you one last question. Are you here to win it? Yes. Good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, let's do this. Let's do this. That's his voice? And watch us where we go. And help us to be one. <laughs> In times when we don't know. When shadows fill our day, lead us to a place, guide us with your grace, keep us straight so we'll be That voice. Oh my God. That was so unique. You are a beautiful, wonderful singer with a young woman trapped inside of you. Thank you, sir. I want to see something different, something unique, and Marcelito, you just gave that to us. Thank it you. was absolutely brilliant. Incredible, incredible. Honestly, this is one of the craziest things I've ever heard in my entire life. Your voice, your range, your sound is just so out of this world. How is it? How is it? You actually should do it. I think it'd be amazing. You are so worthy of the golden buzzer. And I think you're one of the most incredible singers. But this is very early in the night, and I can only choose one. So I'm gonna keep my golden buzzer. But it's up to our super fans, and I, I hope they vote you through. That was what I call a 10. As simple as that. I have a feeling that the super fans will put you through to the next round. Come on, super fans. Yes. Come on, super, super fans. fans. Super fan. Super fan. Super fan. Hello. Oh. Hello. It's on. Hello. You're it's on. on. We oh, can okay. hear you. We can hear you. How are you? I'm good. What is your name? My name is Peter Osalita. How old are you, Peter? I'm 10 years old. And where are you from? I was born in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates but I am a Filipino citizen. What would you do with the million dollars if you win this amazing competition? I would buy a Nintendo Switch. Uh, only one? A laptop for my online school. Oh. Yeah. You realize you've only spent about $1,500 so far. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you do for a living? Uh, sorry? <laughs> what do you mean he's 10? Well, let's see if he does something. It doesn't work. I live as a singer. 
So you see, he does something for a living. And you're going to sing tonight for us? Yes. OK. Are you nervous? Yes, I'm very nervous. Don't be nervous. You yeah, look don't great. be nervous. OK. We're rooting for you. OK, we're ready for you. We can't wait to see what you're going to do tonight. so cute, like even when you talk to us. Everyone says that I'm cute. Everyone. <laughs> what, I predict you're going to go far in this competition. Thank you. Heidi, what did you find? I think you're incredible. What I want to know is like, what do your neighbors say when you rehearse these types of songs? They got surprised. It is so high, you would think like a glass would explode. Yeah. I mean, Mariah better watch out. Yes. Simon, what did you think? That was an incredible audition. Thank you. There were parts during that audition which literally gave me goosebumps. Yes. Ah, goosebumps. <laughs> you have uh, an amazing voice, an amazing personality, an amazing energy. Thank you. Everyone is going to fall in love with you after this audition. Oh, thank you so much, Simon. I think America's going to love you. We're going to start voting. I think the world's going to love him. Yes, Simon. It's a yes. A yes from me. A yes from me. Four yeses. Thank you. He's adorable. We did it! Wow! Lauren! Hi, Simon! How are you? I'm so good. I'm just over the moon right now. Tell everybody who you are and where you're from. I'm Lauren Allred. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, and I'm a singer. Um, one of my favorite movies ever was the Greatest Showman. Mm -hmm. And one of my favorite songs in the movie is the song Never Enough. And then I found out, actually, the girl who sings the song in the movie wasn't singing the song. It was actually Lauren's vocal.
I'm trying to hold my breath Let it stay this way Can't let this moment end Take my hand Will you share this with me? Cause darling That's amazing that such great talent is so not known and behind the scenes and so wonderful of you to bring it forward and introduce it to the world. Look up, cause here I, come. I mean, how lucky are all of us right now that we got to witness this live right in front of our eyes. It was just absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Heidi. Thank you. Mel. I'm actually lost for words because that is just amazing what you can do. Thank I'm you so much. Away. Thank I'm blown you. away. That was honestly spectacular. And to have that moment almost taken away from you. Yeah. And no one knows it was you. And now you've got the guts to come back on this show and tell America this is me is so special. I really hope that America get behind yeah. you and give you the break that I genuinely believe that you deserve because you are an extraordinarily good artist. You know, there was, there was a while when I was more comfortable singing behind the scenes and I thought maybe that's what I was meant to do. And no, until never, no, <laughs> no, Until no. now, you know, I'm ready and I'm here and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Another amazing app. Well, Simon's dream team is gonna leave. Simon has not missed. Are you ready for your time to be in front of the camera now? Yes, I've never been more ready than now. I don't know how this audience is gonna pick five acts 
This is insane it because is they're insane. all so good. Yeah. I have a feeling this will be some. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm good. Who are you? My name is Chakra Khan. I'm from Indonesia. I'm 31 years old. Wow. So you are a singer, yeah? Uh, yes. What kind of music do you love and what kind of song will you be singing for us um, today? I do really love blues. I do really love soul music. And I'm going to be singing soul music. Yeah? Yeah, it's called Make It Rain. Make It Rain. Make It Rain, yeah. I want to know, if you would win this, what would you do with a million dollars? I want to have animal shelter. Oh, wow. Oh, you do? That is so yeah. nice. Thank you very The stage much. is yours. <laughs> when I see and saw my father To refine the purest of kings And even though I know this fire brings me pain Even so, just the same I think you have a great voice. Uh, I didn't like the track, though. Uh, Did you bring another song with you? Yes. OK, great. Great. Let's do it. I grew up with Bob Marley, and my lad father used to play this song all the time before I go to school. So uh, there's no woman to cry. have a very unique, very sexy, very raspy voice. Wow. I mean, you do have a voice that really stands out, that you will not forget. It's very, very special. Thank you. What did you think, Simon? It's so rare to hear voices like that. The second song, Getting to Know You, makes you more interesting. It makes me feel like you're more of an artist. I absolutely love your voice. Love it. Thank you. Yeah. You made it all yours. I mean, and that voice of yours.
Super spectacular. Very memorable, unique voice. Everybody was on their feet, and we could feel the emotion. You're amazing. Yes! Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, let's vote. Howie. Yes. Second yes from me, Sophia. Of course, yes. Simon. Four yeses. We got four yeses. God, give me a hug, man. Thank you. Your spirit you. is amazing. He's got a great sounding voice, yeah. and it's a unique voice. Like when you hear that, you're gonna know it's him. Yes. You are incredible. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, uh, you flew a long way, and it was worth it. <laughs> yes. All right, God you bless you. Chakra God is so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Hello. And who are you? I am Kristen Cruz. Hello, Kristen Cruz. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. <laughs> nice and where meet are you me. from, Kristen? I am from Crowley, Texas. Okay. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 19 years old. And who are you here with? I'm here with my parents, my mom and my dad. Yeah? <laughs> Tell us about you. So I sing, yes. and uh, I make drinks and videos of me singing. At the same time? Yes, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> I just really kind of just share what my kind life. What of drinks? Uh, like matcha, coffee, protein shakes, and yeah. stuff. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Why have you decided to come from there to here now? I tried getting a job at Home Depot, and I was like, you know what? I want to sing, you know? I don't want to not believe in myself and not try, you know? What's the big dream? Um, to inspire people, to, to make them feel that you don't have to be anything else but yourself. I don't have to be the industry standard, you know? I like that. Well, I don't think the industry have got any idea what the standard is, if yes. I'm being honest with you. All right, Kristen. Best of luck, we're all rooting for you. Thank you so much, thank you.
that was unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, was that really you singing? Yeah. <laughs> you open your mouth and you just, you're on fire. I want your voice. Me too. I want it. <laughs> you're really like, oh. I love everything about you. You are a star already in the making. I mean, you just have a real gift. You just have it. Thank you. Thank you so much. The moment you started singing, you became so powerful, so confident. It was unexpected. And, and it was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I was surprised also because we have a lot of overconfident singers who come out here and they're dreadful and then you come out and your voice i mean it is what i would call seasoned you know you're not like uh, you know someone just starting i mean your range your tone you have great taste by the way because it was a great great choice of song you don't need smoothies when you sing trust me thank you we're going to vote now. Let's we'll start with Howie. I like her a latte. Yes! <laughs> Definite yes for me. Thank you. Yes! Thank you. You got four yeses. Thank you! Thank you so much. Thank you. So good! So good! That was great. I wish I could sing like that. Don't, I mean. Hey, y'all. Why is he so cute? Hello. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? Well, very nice to meet you. And who are you? I'm Drake Milligan from Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. How old are you, Drake? I'm 23. I'm guessing you're going to be singing today. Yes, sir. I will be singing. How do I know? You're amazing. I don't know how you do it, Simon. Don't ask. <laughs> now, I'm presuming that you gig around, I mean, the state or the country? Well, I'm based out of Nashville now. I've been recording my own songs here lately and, and been out with my band. We've been on the road and, and making stories and telling lies. And... Yep. Out of interest, how many, are, how many roughly new artists get signed in Nashville per year, do you think? It's not very many. It's not, is it? So you think this is the platform to showcase your talent best? Absolutely. I mean, back in the day, uh, Elvis had the Ed Sullivan show, right? And, and yep. the Beatles did too. And I, yep. and I see this uh, uh, kind of on the same scale of that, uh, almost bigger, way bigger. Wow. <laughs> and you have a lot of people behind us to tell if you're any good or not. They know a lot more than record companies do. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. We always say three minutes, hopefully, will change your life. Let's see what happens. Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ready, boys? Staying too long at the honky tonk, spending too much just to tie one on. A little less right and a lot more wrong. Sounds like something I do. Calling in sick when the fish are biting, taking those curves with the gravel flying, keeping one eye on the next horizon. Sounds like something I do. I never had. And later maybe getting one kiss and going half crazy Sounds like something I do I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking for a fire to walk through Ain't like me to want somebody rearranging all my want-tos I ain't the kind of settle down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger But if I had you Sounds like something, baby Oh, it sounds like something, baby Sounds like something I do 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's an original, right? I guess so it is. I think that song's a hit. Thank you. And I think that you're a hit. You're like the new Elvis of country. I think you're gonna break out from this particular song, this particular moment, on this particular night. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love it. I also love that you guys are a, a band. We don't have a lot of bands yet, you know, this season, so I think you are perfect for America's Got Talent. The perfect combination. The song was amazing. You are amazing. And I think America's gonna go crazy. The girls are going crazy. Sometimes when we get bands on the show, for whatever reason, it just really honestly does sound like a mess from the minute it starts. With you, it was the opposite. I think this performance should make a difference to what you're doing because people are going to like you. The song uh, was really, really good as well. It was really authentic. That's what I liked about it because um, I know so much about country music. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, for me, a good song is a good song and everything worked everything. for you today and you're very likeable. We haven't got to know the rest of you yet, but I'm sure you are. They are. They are. Okay. Right, we're gonna vote. Howie? Yes. Howie. It's a yes from me. Sophia. Yes. That means you got four yeses. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. It's crazy. He's a star, yes. and that song is gonna be a hit. I bet they're gonna go to the finale. What does this mean to you right now? Man, this is all. This is like everything I've been dreaming since, since I was a kid, man. I've been dreaming to stand on that stage. And we got four yeses, and I, <laughs> I'm, I'm shocked right now. I can't believe it. Hi. Hello. Hi. What is your name, and where are you from, sir? Hey, Ingoni Mungalan, Ong Tagahaka. Um. I'm Roland Abanti. Uh, I am from uh, Philippines. Ah, the Philippines! What will you be doing for us today? On say mong himoon karon. Moganta ko sa kanta. So he's gonna sing tonight. He's gonna sing for us. Okay. And um, so, are you are you a singer in the Philippines? So ga kanta gika sa Pilipinas. So in the Philippines, he's just sing in the neighborhood where they have karaoke. Ah, okay, so you do it as karaoke. For fun, for fun. Can I ask you a question? You have a day job? On say mong trabaho sa Pilipinas nga makakuhakag kwarta. Ah, sa buntag, mangisda ko, and then, inig kamunto, magbabalabal driver ko, delivery. So in the Philippines, my work is in the morning. I'm a fisherman. And in, in the afternoon, I, I do drive a motorbike and I deliver passengers and goods. Wow. Amazing. So why America's Got Talent? Uh, in... Oh, you make him cry. Uh, every night I see in my cell phone only because I I, this is my big dream to get there. To be here. To be here. Ah! We will be rolling. Roland, do you want to have a hug before you start, or are you good? Okay, lang kamo kanta karon. Okay, lang. Okay. Okay, na daw. That's the biggest catch of the day. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Roland, are we ready now? Ready, Naka? Yes. Okay. Good luck to you. Vamos! He's so nervous. I'm nervous now for him, too. This means a lot. Give 
his mind on us and his He turned a war for the good he smiled It's his plan for the poor This is the last one to know Never seen Whoa. When the man loves a woman I give you everything I can yeah. Trying to hold on to your better. Mic drop. You left it all on that stage. You were amazing. You should be very proud of yourself. I have a feeling you're gonna have to stop fishing because this is where you needed to be. Yeah. You were so nervous. I genuinely thought for one moment you weren't going to be able to do this. And then that happened. And it actually made me love this audition even more. And I really like you. Yes. That was a great audition. Yes. I mean, brilliant. Thank you so much. Thank you. I agree with what Simon said. You know, the, you have oh, a thank beautiful... thank you so much, Simon. You, you have... oh. No, it's okay. I think he gets excited with Simon, his favorite judge. Oh. Uh, uh, this is... <laughs> Go give him a hug. Can you see the star? The way I'm staring at you. Thank you. Thank you. So my heart is beating too. I gotta say that I think Simon's absolutely right. It's the emotion, and we could feel your heart. And I think that everybody just heard a life-changing moment. Thank you, sir. Let's vote. I'm gonna kick this vote off with your first yes. Thank you so much. Number two, second yes. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Four yeses. Four yeses. <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is Amy Lou. I'm 34. I'm from a little place called Tipton in the West Midlands. You might tell by my accent. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have a day job, Amy? I do. I work part-time in a sunbed shop. <laughs> hence, hence the little... <laughs> Toasty. <laughs> have you performed in front of big 
audiences like this before? No, this is my, my first ever. At weekends, I sing in the local pubs, down the duck and goose, whoever will have me, really. <laughs> <laughs> Have you brought anyone with you today? I have. I've got my mum, dad and my partner. Whoa! I have a four-year-old son and a little girl on the way. I am 30 weeks pregnant. Oh, <laughs> oh well, look, I don't know what you're going to sing, but good luck. Thank you Go so much. It. Thank you. Come on, Annie. Listen to the song here in my heart A melody I start but can't complete Oh, the time has come for my dreams to be heard They will not be pushed aside or turned into your own All cause you won't listen in the sunbed shop. <laughs> that was by far my favourite audition so far. Wow, thank you so much. <laughs> the minute you started singing, I was just covered in goosebumps. And I was thinking, your baby's probably like really having a lovely little sleep in there. And then she's gone, oh, here we go. You are a star. I cannot wait to see what happens to you. Thank you, Amanda. Incredible. Really, the measure of a true artist is to take a song for Beyonce. I mean, I tell you, it takes balls to take that off. But you made it completely your own. Interpretation was at another level. It was like a ray of sunshine, the power of your voice. You really are a revelation. Well, that. <laughs> that, all like that. that doesn't happen. Amy Lou, for Birmingham. <laughs> by the way, my mum was from Birmingham, by the way, oh, so I am a Brummy. Yes! Um, but no, I'm sorry, this doesn't happen. You come out, how many weeks pregnant are you? 30. I mean, I literally thought that baby might have oh, dropped no, out. Yes, <laughs> I was thinking, yeah, we could actually have our first birth <laughs> on, on stage. And I watch you 
watch the audience reaction. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so connected oh. in all my years of doing this. I mean, that was actually quite incredible. And Amy, look, this is your stage. This is your moment. And whatever happens next is just going to be amazing. I Thank promise you. Thank you so much, amazing. Sorry. Thank you. Really, you deserve this. Well, Amy, it's a no-brainer. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Yes Thank for you me. So yes from me. I have calculated there are 4,300 yeses because that was astonishing. Four yeses. Thank you so much. Thank you. Brilliant. She was really good. Honestly, yeah. a big lump in my throat. Yeah. That actually was quite incredible. I mean, seriously, incredible. Wow, what a moment. I just never expected that. Never expected that. And if you get through to the live shows, we'll have a double act. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. The two of you. Yeah. We'll bring her on. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to bring her. You've got to bring her down. We will. Definitely. Yeah, make sure you do. Yes, I. Vamos a ver cómo canta Celine Dion. Good. Welcome. What's your name? So I'm Tom Graham from Australia. And I'm Chris Yume from Belgium. How did you meet? 
So actually, we started a company about a year ago, and because it was during the pandemic, we only actually met in person two days ago. Oh. Oh. And what is your talent? So our company is called Metaphysic, and we use artificial intelligence to create hyper-real content. And so we're going to invite our good friend, Daniel Emmett, on stage, who you guys are familiar with from a previous season. I remember who Daniel is. And we're going to show the audience something kind of amazing. How are you, everybody? Nice to see you. Hi. Nice to see you. You were on how many years ago? Four years ago. And you were amazing. And you were a very good singer. So how did you meet? We met because, of course, I'm fans of what they do online, and they're fans of AGT. And when they asked me to be a part of this wonderful, unique, original thing they're going to do, I couldn't say no. Well, look, you're very mysterious. I don't want to ask anything else. Good luck. OK, Daniel, take it away. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you, guys. What did they put together? I know it's strange, but I love you, Daniel. Simon, I love you too. I've always said, is there such a thing as a perfect contestant, a great singer who looks incredible? We've just found them. Honestly, this was the best thing I've seen all day. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. And because of you, I'm going to get five more wrinkles because I was laughing so much. <laughs> of work to be able to create something so perfect because if I was not paying attention and I see this on TV, I think it's Simon 20 years ago singing. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Don't you love the fact that, you know, talent could be anything and you guys yes. are pure talent to make us smile and make us laugh. That's what we want from whatever stands on that X. So I'd love to begin voting just by saying yes. <laughs> Continue that on with the second yes. 
I can come in love. <laughs> you have four yeses. That was amazing. I would have thought that that was him. If he wasn't sitting beside yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> totally. Wow, that was good. How are you? Um, I'm very nervous, but it, it's okay. Aww. Nervous is good. Let's start with your name, please. Uh, my name is Danelia. And where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan. Wow. Who did you travel with? I'm with my mom. Yeah? <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 13. And I'm guessing you're a singer? Yes, I am. So why did you decide to travel all this way to come on America's Got Talent? Um, my, because it was my dream to come here and uh, I watched like a um, hundred of videos and every time it seemed very unreachable and impossible and I can't believe. Aww. Well, you're here. Good luck. There's a very interesting thing happening in the music business at the moment where people your age, it's kind of like your time. Years ago, singers your age used to have songs chosen by older people which just didn't work. But you've got great taste and you're very cool. And picking up on what Heidi said, when we hear something more stripped down, we're gonna hear that tone but this was an incredible first audition. Amazing. You've got a real, real shot here. And as Howie said, I think this is gonna go well. We're about to find out. Let's start with you. I can start making yeah, it please. go well. The, the start to wellness is a yes. Okay. That's one. Heidi? And I'm gonna keep it going with a yes. Yes, yes. 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 It would be insane to say no, so yes. Well, no surprise, four yeses, congratulations. Fantastic. 
spectacular. I think she's going to do really well. It is amazing, these young kids, how good they are. Amazing. I remember me at 13. I would have never. Never. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm excited and I'm nervous. What's your name? My name is Destiny. I'm from Malta and I'm 14 years old. 14? Yeah. What? How did you end up here? Because I won the Junior Eurovision in 2015. I didn't know there was one. <laughs> and now I came to British Got Talent because I'm a big fan of yours. And that's all. Who are you here with, Destiny? I'm here with my grandma. Aww. Oh, we like a Destiny. Nice girl, isn't she? <laughs> Destiny, what other singers inspire you? Um, I love Beyonce and Aretha Franklin. Oh, good choice. In fact, today I'm going to sing one of her covers. Which one? Think. Big song. Are you confident? Uh, for now, no, but when I start singing, I'm, I'm a different person. Okay. Well, we are rooting for you. Thank you. And good luck. Thank you. the hardest songs to sing and you are 14 and you killed it brilliant brilliant audition well done thank you so much what happened to the shy 14 year old girl from malta where did she go i, don't know. I mean you are clearly born to sing thank you i thank you for coming along today to our little show thank you I think, aside from the fact that you've got the most incredible voice, you're just such a cute, sweet girl. Incredible audition, well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Destiny. I've been waiting for someone to come out who we think could be a star. And guess who it is? You. Of soul. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
OK, we're going to take a vote now, Destiny. David. I am, of course, going to say yes. Thank you. You are brilliant. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Yes from me. Thank you. Get ready, Destiny. You've got four yeses. <laughs> Well done, you. Oh, very jolly. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Uh, my name's Tom Ball. Tom Ball? Tom Ball, yeah. Oh, Tom, Tom Ball. So, yeah, Thomas Ball, Tom Ball. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Tom Ball. <laughs> <laughs> he does look like Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom Right, Tom. <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from uh, West Sussex, near Brighton. Oh, great. How old are you? I'm 23. OK. Oh, he's a baby. You look very happy, Tom. Yes. I'm very excited. Are you? I'm really excited. Yeah. Okay, who are you here with? Uh, I'm here with my fiance and fiance? my dad. Oh. Yeah. Hello. Oh, is the image of his dad. Yeah, I can see the resemblance. Yeah. Okay, and what do you do for a living, Tom? I'm a secondary school teacher. Are you? Oh, bless him. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. The kids don't know I'm here either. Are I mean, you serious? Uh, yeah, I wanted it to be a surprise. And God, what if it goes badly? If it goes badly, then. It goes badly. I mean, it would be really, <laughs> really bad. The children that you teach, do they know that you have this particular talent? Most don't. I think I've only sung to, like, one of my ah, classes. So oh, singing. so you're a singer? Singing. Oh, yeah, singer. Yeah, Brilliant. I sing. Okay. okay. And is there one artist out there who you've gone, I could be as big as him with the right opportunity? I'm compared to Michael Ball quite a lot. Uh, and the last name helps with it as well. <laughs> I get it. Anyway, good luck. Thank you. Come on, Tom. Come on, Tom.
to the top of the class, Tom Ball. <laughs> well done, Tom. Wow. Who knew what a powerhouse you were. Thank you. That was an exceptional audition. I mean, one of the best singers we've had in the last 16 years. Thank you so much. I really felt moved by that vocal and that performance. It was really, really special. Your lovely character, personalities, yeah. sweetness, humility, all of that mixed together just made for the perfect audition. Thank you so much. And you know what, Tom? There's lots and lots and lots of good singers out there. I always believe your personality plays a huge part in these auditions as well. There's something very likeable about you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think there's a single person in this room who wanted you to fail. I'm so happy you came. I'm so happy. Right, David. Do you never forget a good teacher? How lucky your kids are to have you teaching them because you seem like such a lovely person. You've got this exceptional talent. Thank so, you. Tom, let me give you your first yes. Thank you. It's a pleasure to give you a yes. A yes from me. I think you got about 4,000 yeses. Well done, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Tumble. Tumble, tumble, tumble. Hello, hello. I am so I'm so excited <laughs> for this performance that you're about to do. Thank you, Mel. But your voice is just incredible. But the story is what gets me. Like, it makes me fall in love with you even more. So good. <laughs> so good. Yes! So good. 
I have to say, oh, you're gorgeous, by you the are. way. I just you are gorgeous. Say that. And I'm not just saying that. Heidi. You do look gorgeous, and you did Thank a very you, beautiful rendition with that song. I mean, you nailed it. You built it out. I loved it. Thank well you. Well done. Thank you, Heidi. I'm blown away. Howie. Yeah, I am blown away. I got to tell you, my soapbox in life is mental health. And the biggest hurdles that we have in life are the hurdles that we have yeah. inside <laughs> ourselves. Not only did you step it up from anything you've ever done on AGT before, but I think you did something wonderful for the world. Yeah. You really did. Yeah. Thank you. I always felt with Sheldon, this was unfinished business. Mm -hmm. And your voice is so distinct. And you are a proper, what I would call, front man singer, Thank you know? You. So congratulations and welcome back. Thank you so much. Taking the mask off in front of everyone. What a beautiful performance. I I did it. <laughs> You. Tell us all about you. My name is Ana Maria Marjan. I'm 13 years old. I come from Romania and I'm the winner of Romania's Got Talent Season 11. Oh, wow! Congratulations! Two years ago, in the lockdown at home, I can say I was pretty bored and really had nothing to do. So I discovered a video of Terry Fader and I was really impressed. I was like, oh my god, he's so good. And the winner is really curious of how it worked. On my uh, 11th birthday, my parents surprised me with a puppet, and uh, I named her Lizzie, and we're basically best friends now. I also have other puppets. They're like my sisters, my brothers. <laughs> Ventriloquism in my country is really not that popular. So when I got the golden buzzer, I was like, is this really happening? In the finals, I was nervous, of course. Ana Maria Marjana! I tried to pinch myself to see if it's real. I just couldn't believe it. After the show, my life changed completely. TV shows, interviews for newspapers. Before I went on RGT, me and my family lived in a, in a small apartment. Now we are living in a house, and it's just so good being able to live in the house you built. Every time I saw someone on AGT, I was thinking, what if I got to be there someday? And now I'm here and I feel really special. It would be amazing to have my own Vegas show like Terry. That would be my dream. <laughs> A lot of pressure, crazy pressure. This is Waldo, my risky dog. Yep, I risked her. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I risked you. The filter told me on Instagram. And TikTok? I hate ticks. He is so difficult. He's my personal assistant. Um, Waldo, I'm in charge. Yeah, but Anna, listen. <laughs> I'm not the son of your nerdy boys You don't own me I kinda do Don't turn you down Cause I'll never stay You can't even sit She's still in training Mazalif, I'm trying to sing here
after you won. I mean, you are Thank incredible. You. I mean, you're gorgeous. You can sing so beautifully. I love your furry friend. And it was funny, too. I love all the banter and the jokes. Thank you. You were laughing. I was laughing. And I cannot believe your story that you just started doing this during lockdown. Like, this is, you don't even have two years under your belt. That's right. <laughs> that is amazing. And how did you get the puppet? Did your parents buy it for you? Uh, well, my mom actually made it for me. She I mean, made that? It is particularly cute. It's not is... a real doll. She is a ventriloquist. <laughs> singing. Oh. Yeah. Simon doesn't understand how these things work. The fact that this was something that you looked up online, the fact that you were inspired by people you saw on America's Got Talent, you are an AGT all-star. The super fans are going to love you. Absolutely. Now that you know that this is not a real dog, what did you think? I still like it. <laughs> I love today, all of you, because you're all so competitive. And for me, I love seeing someone who's won from another country come to America to compete again. It's just really, really exciting when you see the best of the best compete with each other. And you are really funny, and I really like your doll. Thank you. No, I really do. I mean, Have seriously. your mother make Simon one. I will ask her, but I'm sure she'll say yes. <laughs> wow. Oh, look how he's begging, begging. so nicely. He's begging. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. She was good. Yeah. She was really good. Thank you so much. Oh, no. <laughs>Okay, good luck, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. I would never find another lover Sweeter than you Sweeter than you And I would never find another lover more precious than you, more precious than you, girl, you was to me you're like my mother, close to me you're like my father, close to me you're like my sister, close to me you're like my bride. You are the only one, my everything. For you, this song I see.
amazing. I can I ask a question? What is it in the Korean culture that makes so many talented people? Yeah. You guys really check a lot of the boxes that you need to check to make it, and you sounded great. I loved it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Heidi, what did you think? It sounded great. Super silky, smooth. The harmonies were beautiful. You guys look great. I love all the color arrangements that you guys have on. Very nicely put together. Why you looked at him? Were you responsible for all of you all looking so good? He's our fashion, he's fashion plate. <laughs> Thumbs up for the fashion kid. Yes, I like it. Sophia, what do you think? You guys make a, a great group together. I think it's perfect. You have all the talent, everything. I thought it was spectacular. Um. Probably one of the best auditions we've had today, right? <laughs> You know, every lead was great, the harmonies were great, the song choice was great. Good for you. Okay, we're gonna vote. Can I do the first one? Yes. yes. Okay, Heidi. Can I give you a yes? Yes. You got four yeses, congratulations. Great song. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good, nice to meet you. Uh, what's the act called? Uh, Charlotte and Jonathan. Charlotte and Jonathan. Okay. Um, uh, how old are you both? I'm 16. And I'm 17. Okay. Um, and, and you thought the combination would work. Whose idea was it? Um, it was our singing teachers, actually. She thought it'd be good to try us out together. <laughs> and we both sounded quite good when we sang what we did. OK, you're not saying much, Jonathan. <laughs> Are you shy? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> and do you think you could win? Yeah, together. Yeah. All right, good luck. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go.
of God. Um, Alicia? It's not very often that that happens, that you can move an audience like that. You sing beautifully together. It was world class. Thank you very much. Thank you. A pop voice and an opera voice together. It was incredible. Okay, this is what I think. As Charlotte, I think you're good, but Jonathan, you are unbelievable. I mean, seriously? Wow. You have an outstandingly good voice. Thank you very much. How old are you? 17. I mean, that's unbelievable. Jonathan, you are a future star. Thank you. I like the fact that this works as a duo, but I worry, Charlotte, whether you're going to hold him back. Well, we've come on here as a duo, and we're going to stay here as a duo. Okay, David, we better vote, yes or no? Oh, such an easy decision, yes. Thank you. Definitely a yes from me. Charlotte, I think your voice complements Jonathan's really well, so don't be disheartened. It's a yes from me. You know, my... Head here would say to you, Jonathan, dump her. <laughs> and then my heart would say there was something kind of magical at moments together as well. So I'm going to say yes to the two of you. You've got four yes. Well done! Well done, Paul. He's like a young Pavarotti, that yeah. boy. I haven't heard a voice yeah. like that in years. Yeah. To be that young and that good. Simon's a massive fan of you, <laughs> isn't he? Seems like it, yeah. That is the biggest response we've had today. Well, oh my god. Oh. Well done, my pal. Do you think it could be life changing? Life changing? Well, yeah, to be honest. I think yeah. for you. Yeah.
Hi there. We are Calabro. Do you have day jobs? I'm a labourer. I'm a sales assistant on a petrol garage. I'm a kitchen salesman. I work in a Japanese restaurant. I work in a hospital. OK, lovely. How long have you guys been a group? We've been together for about a month now. A month? Oh, not long. What makes you think after a month that you're good enough to win Britain's Got Talent? Natural chemistry, I think. OK, lovely. Well, whenever you're ready. In the darkness, a fugitive running, fallen from God. Didn't expect this. Fallen from grace, God be my witness. I never shall yield till we come face to face. Till we come face to face. He knows his way in the dark. Mine is the way of the Lord Those who follow the path of the righteous Shall have their reward And if they fall as Lucifer fell A flame was sword Stars in your multitude Scarce to be counted Filling the darkness With order and light You are the sentinels Silent and sure Keeping watch in the night Keeping watch in the night You know your place in the sky you hold your course and your reign And each of your seasons returns and returns And it's always the same And if you fall as Lucifer fell You fall in flames And so it must be, for so it is written On the doorway to paradise Those who falter and fall I may see him safe behind bars. I will never rest till then. This I swear. This I swear. I When the five of you came out, I thought, here we go again, another boy band, this is going to be awful. It was an absolutely brilliant audition. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a faultless performance, guys. It was, it was absolutely fantastic. Oh, what a great um, song. Uh, yeah, I know. It's not, it's not an obvious choice of song as well, which is great because we hear the same songs over and over again. I really think this could be very big. That's astonishing. That is definitely by far one of the strongest auditions I've ever seen. Thank you. We have to take a vote. 
Hello, guys. Amanda? Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. David? Yes! Alicia? It's a yes from me, guys. Thank you. Do you know what? Britain really has got talent. Till I dream he comes away. It's four yeses. Yeah. To have all four judges on their feet as well at the end. Yeah. yeah. Something Boy, special, like, you know. Yeah. When Simon stood up, I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so overwhelmed <laughs> with how good they were. They were so good. Do you know what I'm saying? How do you do that? Oh my so god. In such a short space of time. I don't know. I say, here, record. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Tell me your name. Uh, I'm Gabriel Brown, and... I'm Nate Brown. Tell me about yourself. We're both Navy veterans, and... Uh, Thank you for your service. And we're, um, we're also autistic, so socializing is difficult, and this is kind of terrifying. Really. <laughs> My brother's more extroverted, so I let him do the talking. <laughs> Most of the time, high-functioning, I figure, means that we're good at pretending that we're normal. I don't like that word, normal. I don't either, because I've never met a normal person. Me either. I don't know what normal is. And what is the hope? That we can be a voice for and inspire people like us. That's amazing. Good luck. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. There we go. Yeah. So I have these cards. If I could bring them down to you, would that be okay? Yes. Okay, thank you. This is how Nathaniel communicates. This is just an excuse to see you guys up close. You look amazing. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, these are character cards, and these are um, I song cards. Out? And yes, if you could please select one of each. Oh, I know which one I'm keeping. <laughs> and then please place them on these easels that we made in my garage. Pick one yellow and one blue. Thank you. You put it here, so guys. So you guys know there's actually 576 possible iterations, so this is a little nerve-wracking because we have no idea what's going to happen. I mean, look at him. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Tiny Dancer, Kermit the Frog. Duck. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. Why did our eyes get so red? No more tailors on Joe Weezy. Jupiter and SpongeBob. Tell me, did you sail across the sun? Did you make it to the Milky Way to see the lights all faded? When heaven was overrated? Tell me, did you fall for a shooting star? And what without a permanent scar? And did you miss me while you were looking for Patrick out there? Someone you loved, Simon Cowell. Another day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not here oh, to get the thing at all. I let my guard down, and then you pulled the rope. I was getting kind of used to being someone to judge. Terry Crews. Yes. Funny. You, you will be found, Ben Platt. Oh, that's perfect. Even when the dark comes crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, when you 
when you're broken on the ground You will be found So let the sun streaming in You reach up and you rise again And if you only look around You will be found You will be found Thank you. Wow, that was amazing. I'll start with you, Heidi. I loved it. I mean, you gave it your all. And you got everything so spot on. You were so good. Thank you so much. Simon, has anyone ever done your voice this good ever no before? One. No, I mean, actually no. Yeah, that was incredible. That was frighteningly close. Frightening. And genuinely, I love your personalities as well. Sophia. I mean, I love that you guys are brother because I can feel the love between you two. And the performance was just spectacular. Fun, it was on point. <laughs> the choices that we had were so funny. I mean, the people are loving you guys. They check so many different boxes. You're a very good singer and you're good musicians. You're uh, very skilled impressionist. I will give you your first yes. No, four yeses. Okay. Oh my God! I can't believe we did that. it. You we did it. Four now. yeses. Let's go. Hi. Welcome to America's Got Thank Talent. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Mia Morris. Hi, Mia Morris. And how old are you, Mia? I'm 17, junior in high school. Where are you, where are you from? Nashville, Tennessee. Obviously, you go, you go to school. I do, unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately? <laughs> You're not enjoying school? School schmool, it is what it is. I agree. Ah, could live without <laughs> it, you know. That's funny. And what are you gonna be doing for us tonight? So I'm a songwriter. I'm gonna be playing one of my songs, but I'm also a multi-instrumentalist. Um, and I'm... <laughs> I'm playing as a one-woman band. How do you play as a one-woman band? How do you play everything? With this here loop pedal. Oh, looping. Explain to the people what looping is. So I like to describe a loop pedal as a recording studio at your feet. Right. I'll show you. Check. This is what a loop pedal does. This is what a loop pedal does. This is what a loop pedal does. So you record each individual sound yourself and then it plays on a loop and hopefully it comes together and, and magic and happens. And hope, hopefully it comes together, yes. I love that. Is this what you want to do for a living? Like, what's the dream? My dream is to share my music and my writing with the world. Wow. Yeah. I cannot wait to hear what you do. Thank you. I like this kind of thing.
did it, man. You did it. I, I, I just want to start. I just think you're a star. I think looping is so cool. Thank you. The fact that you're playing every instrument. I could watch a concert. I could watch you doing this. I, I just love what you did. Heidi, what do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. One woman show. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sophia? I think you're one of the coolest girls that's been standing in that stage. <laughs> Simon? I think Mia, you know, look, it was at times a bit of a, a bit of a mess, but then again, it should be. You know, it's kind of like it's all done in the moment, so therefore it's not perfect, but it shouldn't be perfect, which is why I loved it so much. Thank you. I'd rather listen to somebody like you who's original and talented rather rather than someone who comes with some horrible backing track and <laughs> sings a song I've heard a million times. This year, it's all about originality. I can do that. We're going to vote really quickly. I'm giving you your first yes. Thank you. I give you a second yes. Thank you. Sophia. I love you, yes. <laughs> Three yeses. Just genius, Mia. Absolutely genius for you. For you. I'm from Ballantyre. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> That's where I'm from. I know. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I'm from Lodford. Where are you from? Broadford. Oh, wow. That's, that's a bit posher. Well done. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Do you know? Well, OK, let's just say we're both semi-rough. OK. Uh, have you been on a talent show before? Have you ever done this before? Yeah, I have. I auditioned for X Factor last year with a band. Oh, wow. I auditioned for Louis. <laughs> Louis, you were there? I remember you. Do you remember Louis? Do you, I do. I remember you. your face. <laughs> Okay, Alana, then are you gonna sing? Yeah, I am. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, from the hood, from Broadford, Alana Fox! Let's hear it!
mother wants me to lose weight, but she doesn't know how to tell me. She's in New York, she comes to LA. You know how you see your parents, you become a child again? I'm like, oh my God, mommy! She's like, Jacqueline, Lord have mercy, you're fat. <laughs> Jesus, you are fat. What are you eating, people? <laughs> I don't 
like weight loss TV shows. If you love that show, The Biggest Loser, you and I can't be friends. <laughs> you know how that show works? If somebody's overweight, you lock them on an island, and they have to work out eight hours a day, seven days a week, and oh yeah, we're gonna make you wear a small spandex bra and baby panties and wear you on a scale and for cattle on national TV. <laughs> Wouldn't you lose weight? Who's losing these contests? <laughs> you want to impress me, get a bunch of fatties and lock them in a donut shop. <laughs> the first one to not go into a diabetic coma wins. That's the show <laughs> I would support. How did I get into this? How do I make noises? I don't know. I grew up making noises. I can't stop it, man. <laughs> when I was growing up, I lived next to an active runway. My father was in the Air Force. So that meant every few seconds, <laughs> that was me. My mom wasn't prepared for that. Why is the six-month-old baby making noises? <laughs> now, later on in life, I learned that these sounds can get you in trouble. I'll give you an example. On an aircraft, this is what I did. Not allowed to do this. <sighs> Don't do that on a plane, man. If you go, they're gonna think it's real. I did that. <laughs> Freaking cart! Ow! Don't do that. This is Barbara Walters, and today on my show, I have award-winning actress, Natalie Portman. Natalie, I hear you're having a baby. I am Barbara. <laughs> We're thinking of naming the baby Oscar, but that's, that, that's silly because that's my cat's name, so. Hey, y'all, it's Wally Cyrus. What's up? Okay, good. What, Dad? No, I'm not gonna clean my room right now. Want me to clean out your bank account? <laughs> you do jokes, I do impressions. I got it. I could do jokes. I'm sure you could. Could you do an impression? Yes, yes, I could do an impression. Go ahead, do it. What? Do it. Impression. Yeah, and then you tell me who I'm doing. Okay, all right, let me think. King Kardashian. What? <laughs> you are tweeting without thinking. Donald Trump. <laughs> no. It's cheap, it's cheap. Animals, it's a crapshoot. Crapshoot, <clears throat> come on! <laughs> All right, now listen, I have an impression. Okay, I am not a professional. That's fine. All right, tell me who this is. Ready? Yeah, who's this? <clears throat> I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Elton John. <laughs> in what world do you live in, Rebecca? Where some 17-year-old dude is showing up to this house party like, <laughs> y'all not gonna believe this. I got Pinot Grigio! Shots of Chardonnay, let's start a book club! <laughs> yeah. It's never happened, right? You don't know a 17-year-old that owns a corkscrew. That's weird, all right? Not one time in your entire life can you tell me a time where you've seen a 17-year-old dude be like, mm, 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 mm. This Merlot pairs so well with the Doritos Locos Taco. It's just something about Zinfandels in a Hot Pocket that is to die for. You know, I worked at this grocery store for a lot of hateful years. Why is it when you hate your job, they won't fire you? <laughs> and now look, I worked in the worst department at the grocery store, not the meat, not produce, not the freezer. I worked in the steel department. 
You familiar with the steel department, right? Self-checkout lane? <laughs> I got paid to watch people steal all day. <laughs> and people think you stupid. Like, you know when they are gonna rob you when they're bringing up their stuff, they always gotta look back up at you. They're like, boop, boop. <laughs> this one dude tried to humiliate me. Like, I knew he was gonna rob us because I'm looking at him, he's looking at me. I'm like, just steal it. <laughs> He tries to play me in front of the entire store while he's ringing his stuff up. He makes the beat noise with his mouth. <laughs> he didn't even do it right. Like, you gotta act this out, go all in, raise your pitch at least. He's like, I <laughs> Like, the produce is not even supposed to make a sound. <laughs> You're beeping unbeepable stuff. When I got invited to come in America's Got Talent Champions, it was like all my dreams came true at once. I thought he was going to be a singer. So I decided to do some research on the judges. Did you know that backstage there are five hairdressers, three makeup artists, a wardrobe department, and a whole team of nutritionists? <laughs> <laughs> and that's just to maintain Simon's new look. <laughs> Victoria's Secret supermodel. <laughs> and she showed me one of your videos. But then Dad came home from work and we watched all your videos. <laughs> over and over again. I got a motorcycle. I don't like telling people I have a motorcycle, because every time I tell someone, they always got to tell me a story about how their friends crashed on a motorcycle. You know, like, why do people have to be so negative? I don't go up to pregnant women telling them my dad left. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so annoying. So annoying. I walked at my apartment one time, right? I walked at my apartment, and my neighbor walked up to me. She was like, oh my God, you got a motorcycle? Are you stars? Are you stars? You better be careful. I got in a car wreck the other day. My car flipped eight times. I'm looking to be alive. Blessed, right? Yeah. She black, by the way. <laughs> Everyone around us was like, you know, that, was, that is crazy that your car flipped eight times. You're alive. You are blessed, you know? And I'm, I'm over here thinking, who the heck counted, right? Like. Who's that calm when their car's flipping in the air? Ah! One! Like, who's doing that? My name is Preacher. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's, That's it. it. That's no, we need more. We need more. I'm kind of clueless, you know, but it seems to me kids today are a little bit entitled. Am I right? Right? Okay. So my daughter turns 16. And she says, Mom, I want to go to Coachella, and I want you to get me a hotel room. Oh. Yeah, I know. I'm like, you're 16. Listen to yourself, a hotel room. <laughs> I mean, if you can't find a guy who can afford a van by now, I mean, really. <laughs> when I grew up, my mom and her friends, they partied 24-7. You know, they always, always brought flasks on field trips. OK? Right? So? I go on my daughter's first field trip. I take my flask, right, Howie? Right. I'm not gonna get on a bus full of first graders sober, not, not whatever, okay? <laughs> I take out my flask, you know, I have a little sip. And all the other field trip moms, they just go ballistic. They're like, she's got a flask, she's got a flask! <laughs> you know, like I'm some kind of terrorist, right? <laughs> I'm like, calm down, biatch. <laughs> I'm not driving this bus. <laughs> I can teach you how to do Ryan Reynolds, but first you have to do Jim Carrey's voice. And in order to do Jim Carrey, just imagine yourself as a giant Canadian bird, okay? <laughs> Hi there, judges. Uh, I have some voices for you. <laughs> Take that Canadian bird down to a sexy whisper, and you have Ryan Reynolds. Hi there. <laughs> I have some voices for you judges. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> that did sound like Ryan Reynolds. Oh my God. Okay, here's how to do Seth Rogen's voice. Yeah, take Santa Claus's laugh. Ho, ho, ho. Now imagine Santa Claus eats a different kind of cookie. 
This is a crazy job. I just lay down chimneys and I deliver packages to kids and eat their cookies. <laughs> now you can do that. I have a twin sister. And I actually don't talk a lot about being a twin because people ask really stupid twin questions. Like whenever I say I'm an identical twin without fail, someone will go, do you guys look alike? <laughs> we are very different personality-wise, me and my sister. I'm very silly and playful. My sister's very dark and sarcastic. And she has low self-esteem, which is weird, because she has my face. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what it's like when someone that looks exactly like you calls you up and goes, I feel so ugly. <laughs> That is our face. <laughs> you know, I'm not from California, but I look like I am. Just another wobbly guy on the sidewalk. <laughs> I made eight bucks walking over here. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, can you guys see this bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Good. Uh, just making sure, you yeah. know? <laughs> no, everybody always thinks that this is one of those copper magnetic healing bracelets. Like, hey, does that thing work? I'm like, oh yeah, man. I was in a wheelchair last week. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on this arm next week. <laughs> I better take it off soon though, you know? I don't want to get too better. <laughs> Might mess up my show and then I have to figure out how to be a magic singing ventriloquist or whatever. <laughs> Let's just say we're not getting a puppet on that thing. Oh my God! I just got the citizenship. Yeah! Until I got my citizenship, I never had a road rage. If somebody cut me off, I'd be like, oh, so sorry. I was driving too slow. <laughs> but the day I got the citizenship, somebody cut me off. I'm like, what the heck? You can't cut me off. This is my land. <laughs> That's when I realized I become true American. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's hilarious because I felt entitled. Oh! Before the citizenship, somebody hold the door for me, I ran really fast, I'm like, thank you so much. After the citizenship, I'm like, uh, you hold the door, you peasant. <laughs> I got sassy. I love her. It was very hard on me growing up, he used to call me a huge waste. <laughs> you see, both of my parents wanted me to become a lawyer. Never even came close to becoming a lawyer, but I was once involved in a suit. <laughs> but I've since traveled the world, went to Spain, fell madly in love with a Spanish sundress. <laughs> and we broke up and I was pantalones. Yeah! I love him. But I'm happily married now. Oh. <laughs> My wife and I are Polly. It's polyester. <laughs> Our daughter Capri. <laughs> brought home a pair of sweatpants. Hey, I want to be a supportive father. But I want to see her date someone ironed with a crease. This guy looked like he'd been donated. She asked if he could spend the night. I said, in my house, you'll sleep in separate drawers. <laughs> you know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. <laughs> the only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. <laughs> the first thing I found out when I got old is that young people hate old people. Oh, is that right? Did you ever drive behind an old person? <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Does this look familiar? Yes. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing I'm experiencing now at 80 is that my hearing has gotten awful. I'm talking to this woman the other day, and she tells me she has a peanut allergy. Right, I misheard the word. I said, what happens? She said, I start choking and gagging. I applied to work at the Coco Foundation when I was in college, uh, and they rejected me because I have hearing loss. But they, <laughs> yes, boo, the Coco Foundation. Uh, they told, they told me I was a liability issue because if the gorilla were to sneak up on me, I would not be able to hear it, which I can't say with any degree of certainty, uh, <laughs> but probably that seems true. Um, so you guys seem like a nice crowd full of hearing people, so I'm just gonna <laughs> toss this question out to the room. Um, what are y'all gonna do different if a gorilla sneaks up on you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, I would love to know. Uh, <laughs> That makes a lot of sense. DM me after the show. I'm just desperate to know what home field advantage y'all have uh, <laughs> with your two-second head start. Ridiculous. Nothing. Nothing. The only thing you're going to do different than me is die scared. That's it. Um, Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. Oh, no. The kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. And I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> Some of my charts I can't explain why they're true. I just know from experience this is what's gonna happen. Here's the locker room at my gym. I am the blue dot, I walk in. I start to get changed. The minute I get all my clothes off, 12 guys walk in and this is where their lockers are. <laughs> That is so true. <laughs> it defies statistics. Sometimes statistics sound scary, but it's not when you look at it from a different angle. When I first got married, I heard 44% of marriages end in divorce. That's a scary number. Think about that. 40, my wife and I are like, do we stand a chance? Think of the other side. If 44% of marriages end in divorce, you know what that means? 56% of marriages end in death. <laughs> Till death do us part. <laughs> Those are the two ways that marriages end, folks. If, if you're married, enjoy it now. It does not end well. <laughs> Give it up for my dad. Gerald Kelly, the comedian. I love that dude. But he's a loser. <laughs> what? Why? <laughs> oh my God. I'm seven years old, and we have the same job. <laughs> The other day, he was like, hey, yo, Hunter, are you going to work tonight? <laughs> if you going, I'm going. We have the same job. <laughs> My roommate's actually white, and he's like, uh, this is racist. Not all white people are serial killers. I'm like, well. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like all serial killers are white here, buddy. We're on season 14. Come on. You know what I'm saying? It's a clean sweep. Let's go. And I feel bad because white people are actually the only people in the world that can be serial killers. There's no other ethnicity in the world that can get away with eight unsolved murders in a row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you don't think black people want to be serial killers? Of course they do. They cannot. Could you imagine a black serial killer? He would get pulled over on the way to getting supplies. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet. Come on. Indians, Asians, Hispanics, we can't be serial killers. Our family's way too nosy. <laughs> 
<laughs> my mom's an old Indian lady. She's a snitch. <laughs> my mom will just show up. There is a rope. What happened to the duct tape? There is the bleach. I'm calling the cops. I'm like, come on, mom. You raised me. <laughs> Don't do this. I'm your son. Come on. <laughs> I'm 34. I don't look 34. I, I don't look any age. I just look like I've been through stuff. <laughs> and 34 is a difficult age because I, it's not old, but it's old enough that the world's changed. Like, I, I'm old enough to remember time was you saw a fella with a neck tattoo. Well, then you thought, oh, I'm about to see a dead body. Now you see a fella with a neck tattoo. All you think is, oh, this latte is going to be amazing. <laughs> and, and, and you got to do things to stay young. I, I do things to stay young. I, I recently borrowed money from my parents. <laughs> For those of you who never borrowed money from your parents, the crew will know this, the celebrities will not. <laughs> you have to gather your parents together and go, hello, mother, father, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? Well, you failed, and that comes with a hefty fine. <laughs> I just got broken up with, it was an open relationship, it means you can be with anybody you want. I didn't know this, apparently, the girl can also do that. <laughs> you guys know, read the fine print. And my girl got the first person. I made the mistake of asking her this guy's name. She told me, you ever hear somebody's name and then know immediately that this person is a better lover than you? I was like, what's his name? She's like, Alejandro. I'm like, no! No! Alejandro! You, you, you couldn't be with uh, Eugene, you know? Or, or a Simon? You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. You couldn't do a Simon. <laughs> listen, listen, if you're not laughing right now, if you're not laughing right now, your name is Eugene, all right? Every Eugene here is like, actually, I've heard they're pretty vigorous, okay? <laughs> yeah. So I, I met this guy, and it was a relief because his name was Alejandro, but his voice was Eugene. <laughs> Straight up, he comes over, he's like, hey man, how's it going? I'm like, much better now, all right? <laughs> As soon as my son touched my finger, I knew I would die for him. I don't even know this dude, but I would die for my son. The first time I see him, the first time I touch him, I would die for my son. Isn't that crazy we do that, fellas? Yeah. That's right. Because we wouldn't do that for our wives. What? Oh, I'm feeling the heat from the women. Hey, hang on, hang on. Let me explain. Ladies, hang on. Hang on. Look, ladies, the first time we see you or touch you is usually on the first date. No dude in this world is dying for you on the first date. Now, let me make you feel better about the situation. If you're on a first date and a dude looks at you and goes, I would die for you, you better run. Because that dude's about to kill you. But I would die for my wife now, 100%. It took a couple years, but we got there. That's right. If a car jumped the curb and was headed her way, I would push out of the way and take the hit myself. That's how much I love her. Because we've all dated people we wouldn't die for, right? That same car jumps the curb, you're like, shh, I guess it was their time, I guess it was their time. The Lord works in mysterious ways. I'm the type of guy, ladies, that will offer you my jacket. If it's cold outside, I will offer you my jacket. Uh, but I'm not the type of guy that uh, once you turn that down, then uh, you get cold later. <laughs> Offers off the table. You. Uh... We obviously make bad decisions, and uh, we shouldn't both suffer for that. I just found out that I might need glasses uh, for reading. So I had to make the hard decision, you know, to stop reading. Uh, I got colors and shapes down. I'm pretty good. I got silhouettes made out. I knew I was getting older, by the way, when I started rooting against the kids in scary movies. Friday the 13th, Halloween, teenagers do something stupid or rebellious, but you still want them to make it. You want them to live. You're like, run in the barn, he's coming, run in the barn. <laughs> now I'm like, your mom and dad told you not to leave the house. 